So one of my favorite recipes is a jackfruit, uh, it was Nashville hot jackfruit. It was a jackfruit chick un that I made. And I'm telling you, this jackfruit made an incredible chick un replacement. That recipe, Nashville hot chicken, was one of my favorite videos. It's been well over a year since I filmed that video. And after that is when I made the jackfruit chick un wing, which again, is one of my favorites. Now I've had some comments recently asking for some updates, if I've learned anything new. Uh, somebody asks, would methyl cellulose work to bind this together? I just wanted the kind of like update this recipe, this fried chick un recipe with jackfruit to see if we can nail a better jackfruit chicken than what I did in the past. This time we're gonna be making a jackfruit chicken and waffles. I can't wait. Let's do this. Plant-based chick un and waffles. This is gonna be really good. Okay, so for this recipe, I'm gonna use two cans of jackfruit. The very first thing that we're gonna be doing is we're going to open these guys up, throw them through a colander, just strain them, just make sure that we just have the jackfruit. I'm gonna wash them off really quick, just under the sink, just give them a quick rinse. Now these are known as young green jackfruit. Young green jackfruit is not f fresh or ripe jackfruit. Young green jackfruit has a little bit different taste. The fresh jackfruit is very, very sweet, where young green jackfruit has less of that sweetness, more of a very, it's a very mild taste. Now all I'm doing here is I wanna get rid of as many of the seed pods as possible and that's these seeds here. Everything else you can keep, and I'm just gonna drop that down in the um, bowl here below me. Now, when I've made this recipe in the past, I would have cut off the, the triangle stem and not used it. But I've kind of discovered that you can really use all of this. It's all gonna work, it's all gonna be fine. So now that we have our chicken, it's all broke up. I mean, you can really see this looks like a pooled chicken. It's really impressive. Now at this point, I'm gonna throw about a cup and a half of water into a small saucepan, get that on a heat and get it up to a boil. And I'm also gonna add about a tablespoon or about 15 grams of the chicken broth flavor. Now this is a, a vegan chicken broth. There is no chicken in this. It just tastes like chicken. I'm also gonna add about two tablespoons of nutritional yeast and then just give it a quick whisk. Now, once that's up to a boil, we're just gonna add the chicken in, give that a whisk, and then let that kind of boil down for about 10 or 15 minutes. That's really gonna impart that chick un flavor into the broth. It's also gonna soak up some of that chicken broth into the meat and kind of tenderize it up for a little bit. Okay, so this has boiled down. There's still quite a bit of liquid left, but most of that liquid ended up getting sucked up right into the jackfruit, really flavored up exactly what we wanted. I'm gonna add a protein powder. Now this specifically is faba bean protein. You can use like a pea protein powder, you can use a soy protein powder, whatever protein you wanna add. Uh, this is gonna work just fine. I'm gonna do about two tablespoons of this. Again, it's about 30 grams. Now, methyl cellulose has a working temperature of about 132 degrees. Right now, this bowl is sitting at about 150 degrees, so we have to let this cool down. We have to cook it first to get the flavor imparted. We couldn't do like a reverse like we normally would where we'd add everything together and cook it because then we would end up with this really thick kind of gel. And we didn't want that. We wanted everything to be cooked, the flavors to be all together. I wanted to add the protein while it was hot. It would be easier to mix in and all of that liquid didn't get sucked in because this methyl cellulose is going to take on a lot of liquid. That's one of the great things about methyl cellulose is it takes all of the liquid that's in your recipes and holds it. It really holds on to it really well, so it keeps things very, very juicy. So let's let this cool down. We're gonna let it cool down below 132 degrees. I'm gonna keep kind of going. I want it to cool down to about at least 100 degrees before I add this. Um, and then we're gonna add the methyl cellulose and form our chicken patties. This is exciting. Okay, so at this point, we're down below the 130 degrees. We're gonna add one tablespoon, or around 35 grams of methyl cellulose. I'm gonna sprinkle that across the whole mixture. And same thing, let's give this a quick stir. Now, methyl cellulose commonly takes about 20, 30 minutes for it to hydrate up, for it to soak in all of that liquid and become a binder, become a really good binder. We're actually gonna throw these into the freezer, but first we're gonna make our patties. I'm gonna make, I don't know, I think I should be able to get three or four chicken breast size patties for our chicken on waffles. So let's go ahead and make those real quick. And all we're gonna do is just drop about a chicken breast size piece onto some plastic wrap. This is probably a little bit too much. And then we're just going to wrap this up and just make sure that it really forms that chicken breast. We wanna wrap it pretty tight. This first one here is a square. We, don't, we want things prettier than a square, so let's do better on the next one. 
This one looks a lot more like what we're looking for. Definitely have some unique shaped chick un patties. You know what, this last one I'm gonna turn into a boot because you know, normally with like the nuggets, you have the bell, the boot, the fig, what is it, the dog bone. So now that we have our four chick un patties, let's go ahead and throw these guys into the freezer, let them firm up. We want these to be frozen, not solid, but we want them to be frozen very firm. Okay, so the chick un has been chilling in the freezer for about an hour. It is feeling pretty good. So right now, let's get together a few things. Let's do our waffle batter. Now, I'm just gonna make a very small amount of waffle batter because we're only gonna be making this for a small serving, so you could double, triple, however you wanna do this recipe. But let's get our waffle batter moving. It's really easy. One cup of flour, a half a tablespoon of sugar, two teaspoons baking powder, a pinch of salt, and then just whisk the dry ingredients together to make sure they're combined. And now let's add our wet ingredients. Now you need two tablespoons of an egg replacer. Lately I've been using Just Egg. This isn't an ad. I've just really liked the way that it's worked in like baked goods and things like that. I recently made a creme brulee using Just Egg and it came out so wildly good, wildly good. Uh, if you guys would like to see me do a whole video on making different things, baked goods, brownies, different things with Just Egg, let me know. I'm really curious to see how, what you guys think about this stuff. Now we need about three quarters of a cup of any plant-based milk. I've been using Ripple, it's a pea protein milk. Now these are waffles, so we need about a quarter cup of vegetable oil, a little drop, about a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Let's whisk this all together. This is gonna be a monster waffle batter. Now I'm just gonna cover this guy up, let it just hang out for a little bit until we're ready to make some waffles. I'm gonna make them around the same time that the chicken is frying, so that way they kind of come out together. Let's make our chicken batter, what we're gonna fry this in. We're also gonna get a, a large cast iron skillet with some vegetable oil in it, heated up to about 370 degrees, ready to fry. Now the batter for this chicken is really simple. It's just gonna be one cup of flour, well, or whatever you got left, which is just a hair over a cup. Half teaspoon paprika, half teaspoon chili powder, half teaspoon garlic powder, half teaspoon white pepper. Let's give this batter a nice whisk, make sure all those flours are nice and combined. Now for the wet portion of the batter, again, we're gonna be using Just Egg. I'm gonna be doing about uh, four tablespoons. Now again, you can use any egg replacer that you like and then about a cup of the ripple in this scenario or any plant-based milk that you like. You know, I think a cashew milk would work really well for like a breading. It's a little thicker, has a little bit more to hold on to. So while we're waiting for our oil to heat up, let's bread our chick on breast. These feel pretty good. They're not solid. They're not like frozen solid, but they are frozen very firm. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take these guys, we're gonna drop them into our flour, get them nice and coated, just flopping around a few times here into our wet. Uh, I think this one might have suffered a little bit of a issue, but we'll, I think it's okay. And then from the wet, back into the flour, and then we're just gonna kinda toss this in. And then we're just gonna throw this on a rack to allow that flour to kinda soak into all of that wetness and become the flour batter it deserves. And let's move forward, let's go ahead and cover all these. Now, I always make a mess, I don't know how people do this. So at this point, I'm just gonna move these over near the fryer. We're gonna clean this up, get our waffle iron hot and ready to roll. Our temperature is up, it is ready to go. So let's get our chicken in the fryer, get it frying. It's just gonna have to fry for a few minutes. We're gonna flip it over on each side and let's pour some waffles. We're just gonna heat our waffle iron up, get it oiled up on both sides, make some waffles and chicken. This is gonna be amazing. Let's do this, jackfruit chicken and waffles. It's hot, 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 hot. I mean, just now that is a waffle, and I'm talking like this is a waffle that will top any non-plant-based waffle. I'm telling you, it's really, really freaking good. But we have a few pieces of chuk un that are done. Now me personally, I love to top these guys with a bit of maple syrup. That's the way I like my chuk un and waffles. <laughs> I just wanna cut this guy open and see what we got. Feels like a nice, solid chick unbreast. I think it should be, oh my gosh. This chicken texture is mind blowing. It's mind blowing. That is so wild. Now, <clears throat> if we're going just off of look, this is by far the most chick y thing that I have done. Look at that chick. Oh my God, the chicken is so moist and tender. I mean, it's not, 
I guess it is forkable. You can fork cut it. This beats the first version. This is, I mean, this is the best chick unreplacement that I've made on the channel yet. It's just absolutely wonderful. I hope you guys enjoy the heck out of this one. Mm.